What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today we're going to be opening up the brand new uh, Yukio uh, Pendulum Evolution box for you guys. So yeah, for Japan this was a structure deck. For us, they actually made it into a set of cards. I've heard that nothing is short printed in this set. I don't know for sure because I haven't really seen the openings yet, and I uh, haven't opened up on these yet either. I mean, it's the first box I've gotten, so hopefully that's the case. I've heard everyone's having good luck in the Magicians. And then of course, uh, probably early next week, I'll have my Zart net profile, because I know I've been uh, making you guys wait on that, but I'm still missing one card, which I'm hoping I'll get over this weekend, and of course, getting all these magicians in this will be awesome too. Mystifying magicians, what it says. Also, of course, got this from Big Game Collectibles. Be sure to check them out. Link in the description. Let's go ahead and open this up. Also, I'm pretty busy this week. I'm actually, I was invited to an anime convention as a special guest. I haven't really talked about it. I didn't do like a uh, separate video on it. I've been really nervous too. I'm hoping it's going to be awesome. Hopefully, I get to meet a lot of you guys out there too. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to uh, see what's all going on on that. That's uh, Animania. Uh, convention is what it's called. So I'll try to remember to have like a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. That'd be cool because I'm even going to have like my own booth set up there and everything as well. I'll try to like get some video or something too. Maybe we can kind of, you know, if they happen to have some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff or something like that, I don't know, or just anime stuff that I want to get, maybe I can do kind of a recap video, you know? We'll see. Anyway, by the way, everything in this set is holographic. Just want to point that out first off. And as you guys can see, we're starting off with Black Fang Magician. That's awesome. Star Pendulum Graph, excuse me. Zephyr cards. Yeah, basically all the Zephyrs were reprinted in this. Rescue Hamster. Summoner's Art. I forgot that was in there. Um, I guess we'll separate the Ultra Rares. Does it really matter? I mean, everything's holographic, so I guess we'll do that. Well, there's another one of our Sorcerers. Let's see, this one is a Chronograph Sorcerer. He's pretty cool looking, I guess, focus. There we are. My uh, camera doesn't like all holographic packs. Don't know why. <laughs> Let's see, a Time Pendulum Graph. Also, Odd Eyes. That's good. Uh, even Odd Eyes Meteor Burst and uh, Magical Abductor. Not bad. I like this set, though, although there's nothing too crazy. I just made one of the magicians, but it's pretty good. Other than, you know, I still wish it was a structure deck, though. We have, uh, let's see, this one is Astrograph Sorcerer, excuse me. Also have uh, White uh, Wing Magician. That's like the Clear Wing Magician, basically, so I'm glad I got those. Even the Metal Foes are getting some reprints, so on the Fusions, Dragon Pulse, and even Doomstar. That's why I like, I'm going to be able to get some Metal Foes that are holographic. I think it's like all the Fusions, basically, or the, the lower rarity Fusions. They're now going to be holographics. We have a Black Fang Magician, and Time Star Magician. That's a good one, too. So we already got, yeah, we're already getting a bunch of the main ones I need. Odd Eyes Absolute, Amazing Pendulum, Dharma Eye, that's pretty good. This is a set that I can only recommend to people that want to play, you know, magicians. Because <laughs> this is what it's made for. Time Star Magician again. We also have a Double Iris Magician, that's awesome. That's the Odd Eyes Magician, basically. I like how he has a sword. Arch Phoenix Centric, that's good. Pendulum Shift and Unwavering Bond. The bad part about this is kind of the last hurrah for Pendulums <laughs> before Link Summoning because they're going to get nerfed pretty big time with those new rules. We have a Time uh, Pendulum Graph. Also, uh, let's see, Astrograph Sorcerer. That's pretty cool. Already got two of those. I think I need one more. Wisdom of Magician. I'm glad they reprinted that, by the way. That got kind of pricey. Summoner's already getting Time Breaker. Another one of Time of Pendulum Graph, that must be one of the easier ones to get, I have like several now. Uh, Black Fame Magician, I think that gives me what, three? I think that's right. Also Zephyr Divine Strike, uh, Cleefort Monolith, that's a big reprint too, I'm glad. That was like the only thing I think from Secrets of Eternity that wasn't reprinted, so that's good. And also Rare Metal Foes, I forgot that was in there. Awesome, another holographic for Metal Foes. They're probably my favorite Pendulum archetype. I'm sad that they're, <laughs> like I said, not going to be too great with Link Summoning, right? We have a Chronograph Sorcerer, also a White Wing Magician. Very cool. I haven't seen the, the Venom yet. Uh, Starving Venom's Magician. Hopefully we'll get that. Doomstar, Rescue Hamster and everything. Zephyrax. I think I need basically two of each of the Magicians for my build. And of course, uh, three of Iris. Harmonizing Magician, that's good. A Chronograph Sorcerer. Not bad, another one Zephyr, Hypno Sister, and a Satellar Knight. This one was actually pretty expensive, not Zephyr. Like he was $6, I think he was the more expensive of all the Zephyrs, basically. There we go, there's our Starving Venom. Okay, I was like, I've had a hard time getting regular Starving Venom, I was hoping the Magician wouldn't be tough. Uh, Purple Poison Magician, that's cool, and a Star Pendulum Graph. Metal Foes, Dragon Pulse, pretty cool. I believe Zephyr's, they're like Oracle is in this too. I'd like to get a few of those. 
There's another uh, purple uh, poison magician. Very nice. Like I said, I think I just needed two. So there we go. Uh, Astrograph uh, sorcerer. That's good as well. Master pendulum. I mean, everything in this is pretty cool. Adamante. But of course, if you're using something that doesn't involve pendulums, yeah, this isn't for you, obviously. Time a pendulum graph. That's cool. Look, I, I like that card. Also, a Black Fang Magician. Fismic Gear, Centric, everything on that too. And now we're to the other side of the box. Time Star Magician. And yeah, it looks like the cards from the structure deck are easy to get. I, I, I think I have like close to a place out of all of them now. Uh, Black Fang Magician. So that's good. Uh, Dragon Smear, that was kind of a, a surprising one. Noble Dragon Magician, even Lecter in this one. I was afraid that, like, Time Star, for example, would be, like, maybe one per box. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't do that. Double Iris Magician. We also got Harmonizing Magician. Not bad. And Monolith again. Can't go wrong with that either. I think I already got all my Magicians, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to check through them again, but I think I'm all set already. Uh, Double Iris Magician. And also Harmonizing Magician. Rescue Hamster, Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. That seems weird to, to see as a superhero now. I have the Secret Rears still. And Enlightenment Paladin. I'm actually using both of these and my Zark build too, so those are actually really good reprints. Because they're actually both easy to bring out. I'm going with kind of an Odd Eyes Zark build, obviously, and using the Magicians. It's pretty fun. <laughs> I don't know if it'll work at all, though, whenever we have our new rules, unfortunately. But still fun to use. Time Star Magician and uh, Astrograph Sorcerer. Those are like the two main ones right there together. Also, Adamante. And everything too, Hypno Sister. Another star, a pendulum graph. And also uh, the trap card, a time pendulum graph. Odd Ice Fusion, I don't think we got one of those yet. Absolute Dragon, same with that. And uh, Oath Keeper uh, Magician. Yeah, I think they basically reprinted like the main cards from the Odd Eyes like Magician structure deck too. Harmonizing Magician. I'm happy we finally got that, too. I think that was in the mention box. Uh, Chronograph Sorcerer. Lecture. Master Pendulum. Everything. I think we've pretty much seen every card from the set. <laughs> it's not that big of a set of cards. I think it's like 50 cards. But I'm just happy that... Yeah, like, I can just get this. I figured... Again, I figured he would also be one of those. It'd be, like, one per box. So, Astrograph Sorcerer. Time Star Magician. There we go. That's awesome. A few more of the Zephras. Stargazer, even. Good. It looks like at least the structure deck cards are used to get. I still don't like how it's not a structure deck, how it's a box, but at least it doesn't seem like they're trying to absolutely kill us on this, you know? Uh, let's see, we have White Wing Magician, Start Pendulum Graph, Enlightened Paladin, Dragon's Mirror again. I hope I get a place it. Maybe I'll get one more. A few packs left. I ended up getting two boxes of this set, too. I guess I really didn't need it. I was just kind of afraid that I wouldn't be able to do the Zark deck profile. Uh, Double Iris Magician, we have Purple Poison Magician, there you go. Dharma Eye, of course Crimson Eye, and even Time Gazer. Only like three packs left. What can we get? Another Harmon Harmonizing Magician, bleh, if I can say it. <laughs> uh, we also have Double Iris Magician, Oathkeeper, everything on that too, Vortex Dragon even. I'm glad even Vortex got a reprint. I don't think it was expensive at all, but, you know, if it's even easier to get, that's not a bad deal. Uh, let's see, Time Star Magician. We also have uh, White Wing Magician. And then, oh yeah, uh, Skull Crobat Jokers, actually. I forgot about that. He's actually reprinted as Super. He was, like, in the, uh, was it OTS or Astro Pack? Or, yeah, I think it was an OTS pack that he was, you know, already Super. You get him, and it was pretty expensive there for a while because the ban list and everything. So, that was a good reprint. And now we're down to our last pack. What can we end with? Obviously, we're going to end with the hollow, but let's see. I, I don't even know what to ask for. I think I got everything already. <laughs> I'm happy. I got to say, I'm actually happy I got everything from this box. I think we're all good. I think we got our play sets of all the magicians. Have Harmonizing Magician, uh, Purple Poison Magician, and yeah, Stargazer, Odd Fusion, and Absolute Dragon. Pretty good. So, yep, there we go. That's the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll do a recap on my Ultra Rares. I mean, it's all holographic, so you guys saw it. Like I said, I believe I pretty much got a playset of every card, at least on the Ultra Rares. 
So I, I can honestly kind of recommend this to some people. And like I said, though, if you're not going to build magicians or something, uh, yeah, you you probably won't want to get this box. But honestly, too, this is another box, too. Like, as you guys saw, I was able to get so many of each card, like at least a place at probably each card. So you can even just buy the singles on these, too. I mean, I really wouldn't blame you. But it is really good for pendulums, and it kind of is the last hurrah for pendulums as well on this set. So I've been kind of looking forward to it, mainly so we finally have the different uh, dragons in their magician forms. And I got to say, they look awesome to finally see in English. I'm glad they're all like ultra rares and everything too. I guess that's at least uh, the kind of trade-off we get instead of getting a structured egg, at least we can get them all as ultra rares because I, I guess the magicians probably would have been like commons or, or something like that for us. But yeah, just tell me what you guys think about this set. Again though, I would have rather just been able to buy three structured eggs, but I am glad it doesn't seem like anything's really short printed or at least out of the ultra rares. So I am glad that they did the right thing on that. So <laughs> hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, thank you guys for watching. Again, I got this from Bing Collectibles. And of course, uh, tell me in the comments what the openings you guys want to see in the future. I'm working on getting more Dual Spec openings. I know I keep getting requests for that. I'm waiting on Yuki and Kaiba ones, though, because they're getting this special collection box coming out this November, and they're reprinting the Dual Packs for Yuki and Kaiba. So I'm going to do openings on those then instead of spending a lot on older packs on those. I'm just going to wait for them to reprint the packs again. So I think that's the better way to do that. And, of course, there's so much stuff coming out for Yu-Gi-Oh! this summer and everything. You guys know I'm definitely going to open up everything. So be sure to, of course, hit that like button. It helps out a ton. Subscribe to see all those future openings, whether it comes out for English or Japan. I do openings on it. And, of course, too, I hope I get to see some of you guys at Animania. Like I said, I'll try to remember to have a link in the description. I still think it's amazing I was invited as a special guest. Again, I haven't talked about it too much because i got to say I'm pretty nervous, but I honestly can't wait though either. So thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys later. See ya.